Welcome to aonline.com In this I am showing you how to design a hijab in Illustrator so I am going to open the reference on my location so this is my reference so I just make the hijab with the solid color in the Illustrator so I just put it aside with the scale with the selection tool and I just use the layer options to lock the layers and create a new layer as you see in layer palette always after this I'm going to create a new layer you get the layer palettes like from window and click over there you get a blank layer and select that now arrange on on this model background so I'm going to pen tool and then click and drag click and drag to make the curve shape for the hijab Then you have to undo and just click at the end of and then you get the continuous curve. But simply select the pan tool and click and drag so you get the continuity shape according to this model face. You drag for the curve and then break the between tangent points so next click you can define your curve and you have click and drag you can click over this to break, break this and then you go for the next curve then you have to join this so it's become a one shape then I'm going to select direct selection which is why white arrow tool so I'm selecting these anchor points to adjust the curves according to this reference model direct selection only to uh, added the anchor points which is the second tool side white arrow and these are the points to uh, select the anchor points and you can add it like uh, smooth the curves and all that and I'm going to again pan tool to make the curve or a shape according to the face so I can just minus which I already made for the hijab and then I have to again select the white arrow to adjust the anchor point You can go for window and pathfinder. Before that, I need to be uh, select both of curve and then apply over there. And then I go to fill the color. This is stroke color. I can swap this for the fill color. You can choose any color. And I swap this. So stroke color swap to the fill area. So now it's I complete this one. Again I go for the direct selection white arrow to adjust the anchor point.
with the direct selection you can adjust the anchor point position and the handle also where's the curve so you get the perfect shape after this the direct selection adjustment you can use uh, change the handle also after this done i am going to uh, show another my same hijab of the model so how to make the wrinkles so let's go to next so this is which i told you that I made already same thing but i want to be put this wrinkles on pink one so this is i took the pan tool and wrinkle also be create a new layer which is in layer and you already see how we create the layer in layer palettes and palettes are come in window menu so i just click and drag to join this so i have to click and close this curve part for the wrinkles and for the wrinkles i go to the black color which give you the depth in the wrinkles of the hijab so it's perform like a uh, hijab in the form of like they have wrinkles or the fold you can say that i'm not going to exactly black this comes to the gray black dark gray same as you have to be designed with the paint to more wrinkles according to the folds of the hijab After finishing the wrinkles curve, I'm going to those wrinkles to get more soft to blend with the hijab, which I made the background according to the the smaller reference. Now we have to be click again. and then click and drag same as step i follow for all the wrinkles based on the hijab folds on the model faces so according to that you have to be design the shapes shapes for the wrinkle curves now after that i want to be make it as i told you make the wrinkles more soft so they blend with that hijab background the whole shape which is according to the model face so i have locked the rest of the things and i have only to select those wrinkles by black arrow and drag on the thumb then i have to make a duplicate then i have to select with the black arrow to hold the wrinkle which i made and i go filter and the blur and gaussian blur to make a more soft and blend with the hijab background and i put the preview so i can see how much i put the radius and the gaussian blur to get more soft so as you see is get blend and it's give you the fold depth not much more radius so it's get more blurish 
so it's lose the fold under that so I'll give the last bit of time now which I made the duplicate I go that one so I select by the layer locking as you see in there and the same filter I apply Gaussian blur to get the more soft of this so it's got the, the fold depth and same fold depth I use on my next which I made in first pink or hijab I go for another layer so give you the shiny on the edge of the starting of the edge folds so I go for another layer and make the same shapes by using the pan tool but this time I'm going to put in white color as I told you same all the wrinkles I want to be put on my pen hijab so same layer I have to, same way I'm just showing you that how to make that same way you have to put over there and the same gray I used in next video for the texturing so this is for the solid color only We don't put the white shapes for each folds angle so we have to keep us on random fold curves because of the light shades goes on. After that I have to select all of them with shift and I go to again more duplicate of this and same way I go to filter and blur and Gaussian blur that's a manual so give a more blurness of this white same way for the next one also and you can go for the opacities also so they get the little bit faded I have to put all of the same on my this which I made in starting same uh, curves I made and I just on all of them After that I go to a new curve as you see I have selected this I made this with pan tool so I just keep uh, behind this hijab on this face so according to that you can make it in separate layers and you can arrange that so it gives you the depth or the shadow effect hijab in between the face so it gives you more depth like uh, the hijab and the face the distance over there and I give the same uh, shadow effects with the line strokes on the whole of the face so I keep it that black so it give you the depth like when the hijab is wrapping on a face and it give you the depth and the blow of the chin as you see this one so everything is I you have to made on separate layers so you can even to select and arrange that after that I uh, choose the direct selection so more uh, adjustment of the shapes and the forms of this after this adjustment you can even uh, add the more wrinkles if you 
need more gaps in the folds so same way we did in last uh, step and the same way we uh, create a new uh, shapes and folds and go to the filters and blur and then Gaussian blur so why we do the blur again I'm repeating for the softness and it's get to be bland which you made the hijab of the background of the wrinkles so it's just fix up these things so after that it make perfect thanks welcome to aonline.com